Daisy, Ecomistis. Hi, and welcome to this introductory video that starts of our statistics review. As you proceed through the statistics review, you will notice that we start by discussing some concepts from probability theory. It might not be immediately obvious why that is useful. So this short video is supposed to um, address that and we'll discuss a little bit why do probabilities show up in econometrics. First off, what is econometrics anyway? Econometrics is a toolbox of statistical methods that are useful in the social sciences. And what um, does probability theory have to do with that? Well, let's start from the very beginning. What is statistics? Well, the kind of statistics that we're going to use in this econometrics class is concerned with learning the properties of a large group. And this could be a group of people, of firms, of countries. And let's stick um, with people to fix ideas. So this large group that we are studying is called a population. And it is large in the sense that it's too large to look at everyone in the population. And too large, it could mean that it is impractical in the sense of um, too expensive to actually um, look at everyone and to record everyone's um, attributes. Or it could also mean that it is conceptually impossible to look at everyone. For example, if um, the population that we are studying consists not just of people living today, but also of past and future generations. So the, um, what we can do instead of looking at the whole population is that we look at a small subgroup and the small subgroup is called a sample. Now, once we have a sample, we can describe the sample and this is called descriptive statistics. In this course, we are not interested in doing descriptive statistics. Instead, what we're going to do is we're going to use this um, sample, this smaller group, to learn properties of the population, the larger group. And this kind of statistics is called inferential statistics. This is the kind of statistics that we are interested in this econometrics course. We can extend the concepts of a population and a sample to apply to a um, broader setting than just the study of groups. For example, we can use them also to study um, properties of a process. And what I'm thinking about here is that um, there's a process that repeats many, many times, and we want to infer general rules that govern, govern the behavior of this process from observing this process just a few times. For example, the process might unfold as follows. So um, a woman enters pregnancy, then she gets to make um, behavioral choices. For example, she can choose how much um, she drinks, and then she will have a baby and this baby will have um, a certain health. And obviously um, the health of the baby is determined by the um, prior choices of the woman. So here we can think of the population as the process in its abstract form. So the rules that govern this process and the sample would be the few times that we observe this process. So where does the uncertainty, where do the probabilities come from? Well, it's not from the population. The way I want you to think about the population, at least for now, is as something that is completely deterministic, where there's no randomness whatsoever. Well, it is true that even if we understood the basic workings of the process, we still wouldn't be able to predict for every pregnant woman the health of her baby. But that's not because of an inherent randomness. This is because there are a lot of unobserved factors that to a um, smaller or larger degree have an impact on the health of the baby. So how does uncertainty enter our analysis? Where do these probabilities come from? Well, if it's not from the population, it has to be the sample, right? Uh, so remember, we're using the information in our sample to infer general properties of the population. This is quite a tricky process and for this to work we have to be very smart in how we choose our sample. 
Uh, and it turns out that a smart way to choose a sample is to choose randomly. So if our po population is a large group, then we want to pick out random individuals and that will be our sample. Or if we are studying a process, then we should choose randomly which instances of the process we observe. Well, so this is how probabilities enter econometrics. And this is why the statistics review starts off with um, a little bit of probability theory.